everybody. Uh, to me, this is the absolute greatest guitar chord progression I've ever learned. I know that's a very biased and opinionated statement. I do defy you guys to prove me wrong. If there is another chord progression you think is better than this one, please comment below. Add that chord progression and song. Uh, this is the quiet part to Paranoid Android by Radiohead. I'm going to go over the chords as I just played them. Um, and as always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. I really appreciate it. And let's hop in. All right, so this chord progression starts on a C minor. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, you're going to bar the third fret. Middle finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the B string. Uh, pinky finger is on the fifth fret of the G. And ring is on the fifth fret of the D. So now we go to a, a G chord, um, but while we're playing with this G chord here, so um, index finger is on the second fret of the A string, and then um, pinky finger is on the third fret of the, uh, the high E, and ring is on the third fret of the B. So you're, you're not playing that G as your root note there. slide that index finger up one to the first fret of the A, and that gives you a B flat chord. Okay. We go to a standard A, and a D minor chord. Uh, if you're not familiar with that one, um, index finger is on the first fret of the high E string, middle finger is on the second fret of the G, and ring finger is on the third fret of the B. So, C sharp minor, to this G, B flat, to this A, D minor, back to an A, back to a D minor, and then we make it a D minor seven, and that's where it's really pretty to me. Um, and all you're doing, you're taking that D minor and you're adding a C, which is the third fret of the uh, A string. So go to that first part again. C sharp minor, G, to this B flat, to this A. Sorry. Now we're going to slide all the way down here, play another B flat, but we're playing it up in the, this position here. So, um, barring the sixth fret, um, now I've got my middle finger on the seventh fret of the G string. My pinky finger is on the uh, eighth fret of the D, and my ring is on the eighth fret of the A. That's a B flat. This F chord here. Um, this chord, if you've never played this chord, it, it will take you some time to get used to that transition. Uh, so what we're playing here, we are barring the fifth fret. My middle finger is on the sixth fret of the B. My ring finger is on the seventh fret of the uh, D, and my pinky finger is on the eighth fret of the A. From that B flat to that F, and again, that's a that's going to take some time to get used to it. I still struggle with that uh, that progression there, but it's awesome. And then from there, we go to a G minor. And G minor is uh, just barring the third fret. Your ring finger is on the fourth, fret, sorry, on the fifth fret of the A, and pinky is on the fifth fret of the D. So that's um, the 
E suspended there. So that E suspended, it's a, an E sus4. So you play your normal E chord, and then um, I just move my, my pinky finger uh, to the second fret of the, um, the G string. And you pull it back off, and then we go to an A, and then an A sus4. So that A, just your, your standard A uh, on, the, on the second fret there. And then you move your pinky finger from the second fret of the B down to the third of the B. And that's the last chord in there. So let's go through that second part of the progression again. B flat, F, G minor, F again, and your E, sus4, time here from the top. There you have it. What I consider to be the greatest guitar chord progression ever. Uh, again, if you've got better suggestions or something else you feel is better, please add it below. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Practice it. Have fun. It's uh, it's it's a, it's a great great song. Um, if you're looking for the entire lesson, um, I think it's Guitar 365 it has a really really good lesson for this whole entire song um, that I'm not going to go through. But if you're looking for that whole song, I would recommend checking that out. Thank you all very much. We'll see you again soon.